Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Professor Bauer. Welcome to ICT 4670 Disaster Recovery and Business Continuity Planning. Welcome to week four, October 5th. We have the roadmap video for this week. Just want to do a couple of things as we get started. The agenda for our quick video will be a little bit of feedback from the grades on weeks one and two. I've got all those grades back to you now and overview for this week week four and what the assignments are and the discussion questions that you'll prepare for the live classroom on uh, this coming wednesday night so just keep those things in mind all right week one and two um, your work is impressive it's crisp it's good some of you write like you've been doing it for a while um, very impressive. It's great to be able to read writing that's clear and concise and doesn't have a lot of marketing jive and empty words uh, associated with it. And um, so keep it up. The discussions have been bang on. You guys are talking about the right uh, issues and the right concerns that folks who are working with information security and business continuity need to know. So just uh, keep it up. I should have week three. Uh, I'm working on it right now. Should have it all done by this coming Thursday. Um, just a reminder, uh, when you have these large assignments, they generally ask you to do some major thing. And then in the sentences that follow, they describe, okay, make sure this thing has part A, part B, part C, and it should include part D. So in other words, you should be able to highlight all the deliverables in that assignment. It's not just a paper about AI or a paper about cloud. It's a paper about cloud and, and discuss the benefits of private and public and why this hybrid cloud. In other words, the sub questions are the ones that you need to make sure that you answer. Otherwise, the rubric, and remember, the rubric's your friend, the rubric will not score the highest grade for you. So keep, keep those things in mind. Okay, week four. How do you determine what the risks are for your network and for your business? How do you do what's called a um, the business analysis, both the quantitative and qualitative uh, data collection techniques to be able to determine what are the things that we should prepare for. You know, there is a risk of a meteorite hitting me right in the middle of this video. But you know what? There's not a whole heck of a lot I can do about it. So I'm just going to say, okay, we're going to leave that risk as unknown uh, unless we see something big and fiery heading toward um, Black Forest, Colorado. Then you'll see this movie abruptly end. But what is a business impact analysis? Good readings on, on these subject areas. So we'll define the key components of a risk assessment. What is quantitative and qualitative? I think you understand by the, by the terms, but some are more um, driven by the numbers and some are more impressionistic in, in terms of this. And both are important. And then we'll uh, talk about uh, when you look at a business impact analysis, you have to understand, okay, what are the functions of the business? What are the things that we have to do? And if we are injured or destroyed or hindered or hampered in some way, what parts of the business don't go on? And can we still continue to be a newspaper, a TV network, uh, a supermarket, a uh, computer chip fab plant, uh, whatever they are, can we continue to do that? And so we'll talk about that. You have a uh, risk assessment and a business impact analysis um, that is part of your uh, assignment. So just keep keep that in mind for uh, for this coming week. Lots of uh, lots of reading assignments. You've got in the uh, business continuity book, um, read chapter four is risk assessment. And then there's an, uh, a number of sub chapters in there. And then a bunch of readings um, a lot of them have the theme of ransomware, when to pay for it, how to pay for it, um, what is the risk, and always paying for it may have additional risks if, uh, 
um, well, we'll talk a little bit in the uh, in the Zoom class on Wednesday uh, about um, about my work with a couple of companies who decided to go ahead and pay the uh, the ransomware um, uh, fees. So uh, anyway, but really interesting stuff. Um, more and more companies are being hit with ransomware attacks. If nothing else, this week should be pretty helpful in, in giving you the perspective uh, to be able to have a good discussion with your management on ransomware uh, situations in um, what preemptive measures we can take to guard against ransomware, what risks we can mitigate, and the risk of course is that everything gets locked and encrypted and there's no way you can get any of your business data back unless you pay uh, the ransomware fee. Can you mitigate that by having offline copies, um, either disattached disk, in other words, uh, from disk to disk or disk to tape, but that is not uh, connected to your general network? And how do you do that? And we'll take a look at a couple of, uh, a couple of ways to do that. Week four, discussion questions. These are the ones we'll talk about this coming Wednesday night. Identify the key steps in risk management. Uh, discuss the importance of categorizing uh, risk during the threat, vulnerability, and impact assessments. Um, and explain the importance of de developing a risk uh, mitigation, not migration. I, I wish we could migrate all our risk. A risk mitigation strategy. So. That's a big uh, question with a lot of sub-questions, so make sure you prepare for it. And again, you're going to find the answers in your reading, so just read with uh, the expectation of discussing some of these areas. Or if you've got your own material, your own uh, understanding of these, and you want to bring it, then by all means do so. Identify the activities associated with the BIA. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, business impact analysis. By the way, don't have COVID, uh, not checking myself in, uh, just, just, just say harmless sneeze. Um, so, and, and you can't catch it through the video, okay? Just to keep that in mind. What business functions should be included in the BIA? And uh, what are the important points? We talked about RPO and RTO uh, last week, and here they are. So this will uh, help you in that area. Okay, have a great week four. We'll see you for class, 7 o'clock Mountain Time on Wednesday. Bye-bye now.